Howdy team. Today we're going to work on Access Chapter 3 Greater North Wind Traders. We're going to make some queries, work on some formulas, explore the expression builder, and more. Let's get started. Step 2. Create a query using Query Design. We want to come to the Create tab, go over to the Queries panel. Be careful, we're not going to use the wizard, we're going to use Query Design. Now, notice that it's asked us for the Customers table and the Orders table. So from the Customers table, include the field Company Name, Contact Name, Contact Title, and Phone. From the Orders table, you're going to include the Order ID and Order Date and Shipping Date. Right now, let's just get those tables on board. If you don't see the Show Table dialog box, you can put sh click Show Table right here. And then you can choose your tables. The first table we need is the Customers table. I'm going to double click Customers. The second table we need is the Orders table. I'm going to double click Orders. And the third and final table we need, oh, we don't need a third table. Let's add some fields. I'm going to close the Show Table box, and I'm going to open my tables so I can see all my fields. This helps me. You can do what works best for you. From the Customers table, add the company name. That's right here. I can double-click that, or I can drag. On that example, I double-clicked. The next one is Contact Name. Let's do this one by dragging. So I find contact name and I just click and I drag down into the field I want to put it in and I let go. If you're doing a lot, clicking works best and it just pops in the next column field. All right, we have company name and contact name. Let's do contact title. I'm going to come to contact title and double click. And finally, phone. I'm going to come to phone and double click. And now we've gotten our first four fields out of our customers table. The next thing we need to work on is the orders table. So from the orders table, we need the order ID field. We need order date. Let's get order ID first. Order ID is our primary key. And then order date. And then ship date. That's the correct order. Now it asks you to run the query and examine the results. So let's do that. We're going to come up, we're still in the design tab, and hit run. Our query shows up in data sheet view, and look, you have about 11 rows. Everything's alphabetical by company name, and we have lots of ship dates from 2012 to 2016. It now says save the query as shipping efficiency. I'm going to come up to query one and right click and say save. It'll go what do you want to save it as? I'm going to say shipping efficiency and then click OK. And that's the end of step two. Step three, add a calculated field named days to ship to calculate the number of days taken to fill each order. Okay, right now we're in data sheet view. That's where we enter data. We want to come over to view and go back to design so we can enter this formula. It says a new calculated field, so we're going to come over here to the open field and we're going to type days to ship. When you work with access, it's imperative that you're very careful about your spelling, capitals, and spaces. Field names, which all these right here are field names, do not have spaces. They do have capitals for the different words. We even capitalize two. There are several ways to build a formula. This first formula I'm going to type out with you. I'm going to close my all access objects so you can see a little bit better. I'm going to expand my column, nothing that you can't do at home, just expand it so you can see me type it. Later, we'll use the builder to make some formulas. 
I have days to ship. I'm going to do colon in the space. And then I'm going to go a square bracket. That's to the right of P. And type the word shipped date. That is the name of my field. I'm going to do the close bracket, which is also to the right of P. And then I'm going to do a subtraction symbol with the open bracket, the square bracket of order date field. And notice how careful I am to have a capital O for order and a capital D for date and closed. That is the end of our formula. And just so you know what you're looking at, I wanted you to see it. This is the correct formula, days to ship, colon, um, square bracket, ship date, square bracket, minus, square bracket, order date, square bracket. Again, we hand type this. There's more efficient and accurate ways to complete this task, but I did want you to see the different ways to run a formula. So, um, it asks us to run the query. Examine your results. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fields. We even have our days to ship, everything from three days to ship to 41 days. And now it says save the query. I'm gonna right click on shipping efficiency and save. And that is the end of step three.